Recently, I did a video on how to make money online and someone saw that video and they contacted me and said they made some money from that method. Now this happens sometimes, people will contact me and say I made some money from this stuff and today I decided to do a video on this to show you how he made money with this method to hopefully help you go out and make some money online. And I'll show you how you can make some money online with this method. Now, this is a very interesting way that this person actually did this very unique and something I've never seen before. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what he did to make $2,500 online with one of the methods that I've showed in the past. You're gonna to wanna to stay for this video because it's something you've probably never seen the way that he actually did this. I've never done it, I've never thought about it. It's a great way to make money online in my opinion. And you'll see exactly how he did it and I'll show you some tips on how you can do this yourself. And then I'll show you where you can actually find some more tutorials on this topic to help you make some more money. So let's jump into the video and I'll show you exactly how you can make money online. All right guys, welcome back to the video. So we're gonna talk about how this guy went out and made two and a half thousand dollars. He's actually one of my students, but he made this from watching one of my videos in the past. And I'm gonna take you through exactly how he did it. And it's a really cool, interesting way to make money online because you don't need your own product or anything like that. It's um, quite interesting. Now, he originally locked the client in at a thousand and then somehow locked it in for two and a half. I'm not sure exactly how he did that. I didn't ask him the details, but he locked him in for two and a half thousand dollars. So how did he do this? Let me explain to you exactly how he did this, and then we'll get into some details on how you can go and do this yourself. So first of all, what he did is he actually went and created a website or a landing page based on a specific service that he's going to offer to people. Now he doesn't actually do this service, he doesn't own any products. He sends people to this page and what they do is they purchase this service from him from this page and he gets money okay now let's say he gets two stacks of cash whether let's say these are a thousand dollars each okay a thousand dollars each now all he did was go to fiverr.com where he can find the service for cheaper this was actually video editing we'll talk about that in a second where he found it for cheaper and let's just say, like, guys, this is just an example of the numbers here. His numbers are obviously probably going to be different because uh, a lot of people actually take my examples literally sometimes. Um, he went and paid someone on Fiverr, let's say $1,000, okay? And then this guy sent the videos to back to him, and then he sent it back to the client, and he pockets a $1,000 profit, Okay. That's how this works. So he's essentially a middleman for a service where you, it's, it's called drop servicing. So you are taking a service that's cheap and you are promoting it for a profit and you keep the profit and pay someone else to do the work for you. It's an extremely profitable business model and works very well because you don't need your own product. Now, he explained to me exactly how he did this. And guys, this is some really good information. Like he literally laid out exactly how he did this. And I'm going to explain to you how he did it, and then we'll go into the details, okay? It's, it's really, really good. So he used LinkedIn, um, it's given, given him a better return. Basically, I use a robot called um, Ducks Soup, and I use LinkedIn Sales Navig Navigator. Now, bear in mind, I have no idea what this program is, I've never used it, um, which allows me to find the audience I want to target, sort of like Facebook uh, custom audiences. Um, and then I put in the industry, and the position, and the, and the founder, um, then the company size, I find the best sizes around 50 to uh, 11 to 50 and then 50 to 200. Then I'll, I'll turn on duck soup, which will visit each person, send them a connection request and a message about my offer, which is 50% off. You know, you can have a sale or whatever you want to do. So this is how that works. What he does is he uses his program, which I'll show you in a second. He sends people to this to, uh, sorry, he sends a message to these people with it, as, as far as I understand, like I said, I haven't used it. And then he sends people to his website and that's how it works. Now this is the duck soup program he's talking about here. Um, it's just a, basically a, a way to connect people with businesses. Like I said, I don't know much about it. So you can go check out this if you wanna, if you wanna have a look. I don't really know what it, what it does. But um, what are the actual steps to doing it so you can go and make some money? That's what, what's important. 
Um, the first step is to really come up with an idea. What kind of service can you find that's cheap that you can put a markup on, but more importantly, services that people are actually interested in? So what I would recommend you do is go to fiverr.com and you can look for services that you can essentially resell. You're a reseller, okay? And there's lots of services out there. Um, I'm not gonna get into the details on or every single service. But what I will show you, so this is fiverr.com, what I will show you is some actual interesting stuff that I found in Google search. So Google has a tool that you can use to find what people are searching online. And this will tie into the traffic method that I'm gonna tell you what to use. So essentially, ebook cover. You could go and um, create, you know, sell ebook covers as a service. Now, the reason I chose this one is because it's getting increased search volume month after month. More importantly, it has low to medium competition in the in the ads, which is good. And second, um, the 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 bidding range is pretty good. So at the lowest end, you'll pay around about 30 cents. This is New Zealand dollars. And at the highest end, you'll pay around about $4 to $2, $3 if you want to run ads. The next one you could possibly look at is mock-ups. So mock-ups are the things like this. People put your images on a laptop or a phone or something like that. Once again, this has low competition, good search volumes, and very low cost per click, extremely low, okay? The next one, so basically what, what we're doing is we're gonna be going and putting our products, that our, our service, sorry, in front of people that um, you know are searching these things. The next one I found interesting was Stream Overlays. And this is a service on Fiverr that you can go and resell. Has terrible search volume, however, it is growing. So it might be like a little micro niche you could tap into. But what I did like is they had an extremely low cost per click, okay? And competition is low. So that's another one that, that interests me um, quite a lot. Now, here's an example of a bad one that I probably wouldn't really mess with because it's, it's got a high bid. So there's actually, even though the competition's medium, there's quite a lot of competition in logo design. So I wouldn't be really offering logo design as a service because I do know personally that it's extremely competitive so you wanna kind of find those little micro niche ones. One that I found very interesting, which is what I talked about, is a stream design. What, what that is, is people design stream logos and, and stream overlays and stuff for streamers. And it's a really, really micro niche, like there's not a lot of search volume, but there's probably no one else reselling services in that industry. And it's a growing industry, but it's very, very slow. But you know, you could possibly make a little bit of money. I don't promise you'll make money. But you could possibly make a little bit of money. So, what's the step after you've got an idea? What do you do after you've found a design? Uh, sorry, found a service where you could resell for a profit. Simple. You have to go to the next step, which is what Stephen did after watching my video. You have to design a page that you can use to send people to. So, a landing page or a website. So this is Stevens here. Sorry guys, I'm losing my throat at the moment. I've been doing a lot of videos for our, one of our trainings. Um, so if we go down here, Steve has set up a page with all of the information on it. And what he's doing is he's selling video editing services for, a, for money. And then once someone purchases this, he's going back to fiverr.com and he's going video editing and he's finding people that do video editing services and then he's using their services to go and edit videos, okay? So it's quite quite good stuff that he's doing. But you need to go and design some sort of page. This would have taken maybe one or two days to make. It doesn't take that long. So what you would need to do then is go and use services like Kartra or ClickFunnels or another one called Thrive Architect, which is a little bit cheaper than some of these, to go and create these pages. You will need something to create these pages. It's, it's quite important, otherwise you're not gonna have a business. Um, now, once you create these pages, the next step is quite important as well. How do you actually go out and get traffic to these types of offers that you're reselling, okay? So, like I said, we're gonna be reselling these services at a premium. Well, you need to get traffic, and in my opinion, you need targeted traffic that's quick. What I mean by targeted, you literally want to go out and put ads in front of people that are typing something into Google. This is important because they are targeted people. They have actually searched for that topic. Let's say you went and did this on Facebook ads, 
the conversion rate would probably be a lot lower and probably quite bad because you're putting the ads in front of people that don't care, they're just scrolling. When someone actually searches in Google and for Google ads uh, for, for something and an ad pops up, they are really a good chance of them converting or at least clicking on your stuff because they have, they, they're very, very interested in that specific topic or that specific service. So Google Ads really is the best way to do this. The student in this video, he did another way with LinkedIn, which is really unique and good. You could probably go and try that. But what I would recommend if you want to try the Google Ads method, I will leave a video in the description of my full Google tutorial. And that will take you through step by step how to run Google Ads for your online business. So that's exactly how he went out and did this. And he said that he's been actually learning a lot of this guy here, Dylan. So I actually leave both of their uh, links below to their YouTube channel. He said he's been learning a lot of Dylan and it seems like Dylan does mainly drop servicing videos. I don't do many, so probably no good trying to learn off me about this specific topic. But I'll leave links below to their videos. But that is how he went and made $2,500 by doing the drop servicing method to make money online. Now, if you'd like to see some more videos, I will leave some up on the right that you can check out that will take you through step by step on how to make money online, plus a playlist that you can check out that's completely free. If you, if you have any questions, click below and ask me a question, tap that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.